implement transmission of ping messages. Second experiment. Network devices 4 key 3 1 router 2 routers. Two switches two nine six zero four PCs from the end device now make the connections using the copper crossover we connect the router to router so that let's connect the router to the switch using the zero zero gigabit The switches on the PC should be connected using fast Ethernet, but for the router, we will be using the gigabit. For the router to router also, we shall be using the gigabit. But for router to router, we will be using the copper crossover. So again, for this gigabit only, we shall be used. Once this is done, we have to configure the routers. Select on the router 1 in the config. Go to the gigabit internet 00, zero which belongs to the network 1. So the IP v4 address will be 192.168.1.1 and the subnet mask will automatically be entered. And you have to turn on the port status and make it as full duplex. Similarly, for this also, in the gigabit zero, that is, which connects to the switch, the network will be 192.168.1.1. should be full duplex. Now select on the router 1 again, go to the gigabit Ethernet 001 which connects it to the other router. So this will be belonging to the network 3 so 192.168.3.1 in the subnet mask turn on the port status full duplex. Similarly we have to do for this since we have used 192.168.3.1 in the router 1, now we are going to use 3.2 for this and enter the subnet mask, turn the port status on and this should be full duplex. Okay, once we are done with configuring the routers now we have to configure the PCs to configure the PCs click on the PC the desktop IP configuration now the IP address for this will be 192.168.1.2 in the subnet mask and the default gateway address will be 192.168.1.1 Next for this PC Now 
thousand and two two dot dot two dot two one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot two dot one So now this is the Z configure. Now for this we have to do the static routing. So click on the router one under the uh, config. Go to the config under the routing. Select the static. Where we have to give the net net destination network, which is 192.168.2.1. And my subnet number is 255.255.255.0 Next hop will be 192.168.3.2 And we are going to add this Similarly in the router 2 That the config for the static routing here 192.168.1.0 and the subnet must be the 255 255.255.0 and the next one will be 192.168.3.1 which is the router one and for that uh, router 1, the next hop was 3.2, which is the router 2. And add this. Now, since here it is red in color, so what you have to do is only the fast internet 0 in the switch that should be made full duplex. I have already made that. So, since it is red in color, so for the connection which we used for the router and the switch which is fast internet 01 so we have to go to the config fast internet 01 this should be made full duplex <coughs> so now we got all of them will become green now so the network is set up let's ping to ping you have to click on the source pc go to the command probe under the desktop go to the command probe and give this command ping 192.168.2.3 which is the destination pc so we already done once uh, the pinging in which two packets were lost upon pinging for the second time i received all the four packets and there is zero loss so the first time when i pinged it to the destination PC there was 50% loss upon doing it again there is 0% loss now we can trace the root also trace RT 192.168.2.3 so this is the root which a maximum 10, 30 hops and the trace is complete so this is the output will be right click and also for the simulation click on the add simple pdu which is the packets and you have to click on the source pc and then the destination pc once you are done it will add it will show you the source and the destination and the color and all those things now click on the simulation button and here you have to play and it will get simulated
So this is how it reaches the PC2 that is the destination. And after that it is going to acknowledge back to the source PC in this way. acknowledgement is received. Thank you.